welcome back to the guidance of the Modicon M221. In this video, we're going to see how we can debug our program. So, if we go to the presentation, we are going to still working with the with the machine that we were programming last time with the small conveyor belt. We have the motor, we have the sensor, and then the start the start push button and the stop push button. What we're gonna see in this presentation is that we have what we call the animation table. In this animation table, we can create a table where we can define all the variables that, you, that we want to see. So instead of using the, the ladder view of the code, that probably the program is dividing different POUs on different part of the same ladder, we can use this table to see all the variables that we want in one place. That's the advantage. So in order to work with this, just go to programming, then tools, animation table, right click, and we need to add one animation table. Once we have created animation table in order to identify, because we can have more than one, we can right click again on the animation table created and then just change the name with the rename animation table. Once we have the animation table, we just create the difference animation table that we want. Okay, so for this part of the presentation, let's open the project guidance that I have in here. The other side. There we go. So I explained again what we need to do. Programming, animation table, right click, and then here we just add all the animation table that we want. So in this part of the of this video, we are going to create three different animation tables, as I show you in the part of the presentation. Table for inputs, table for outputs, and table for auxiliary value. So let's go back to the software here. So the name, just check the name again that I had defined. Table, input, right click, rename, table input click again table output plural and animation table outputs once we have defined all the tables that we want we just right click um, just one click on any of them. So you can see in this part, the overview, that we have the possibility to add something here. So what we're gonna do now, for example, in input, we just start with the percentage i0.0, .0. enter or add or insert, so we can add the variable over here to see it. If we don't use the address, we can use the symbol, so I stop, you can see here, start and add. So when we are connected with the PLC, we should be able to see the status of the variable instead of using the, the ladder logic. Let's see what do we have in the presentation. I already explained this part. We just add and insert. Okay, and it's something important that we're going to see now is the configuration of the trays. So it is good to see the value, how the value is changing from the variable, but it is much better if we can see the trace. So we can see in different time, on different periods of time, how the variable has changed. So we can see the logic if it's working or not. That's why it is useful to use the trace. So if we continue with this, okay, I have already explained this part. You can use the address or you can use the symbol. So on this part, what we're going to do is to add in the table input all the inputs that we are working with, and the output, the output that we only have, and then the auxiliary variable, the M0. So if we go back to the program, 
here just missing the i underscore sensor add output q underscore motor and out percentage and zero okay that's it okay there's nothing else to configure just this let's continue with the presentation once we have defined the animation table it's not only for for see the actual value we also have the possibility to force a new value when we are connected so when we are connected we have the this column force or value so we can write a new value on this variable so what we're going to do now is to launch the simulator here this okay simulation you can see here this one is a percentage m variable this one is a, a input physical input that's why you have this value force not let's play this so let me show you control logic we have this so force to one you can see it's changed the value force to zero and then not force we can easily do this over here and in case of simulation we can use this so let's see the auxiliary one which is this one Okay, it doesn't have the force value, but we can go directly here and change to zero. Okay, so this is a good way to easily change all the variables. For example, if you have for configurations, you can create animation table for configuration, for timers, or for additional configurations of the machine. So you can create animation table and see all the animation variables that you have for the configuration of the machine. So let's continue this presentation. In this case, we have a small group of variables, but we have the possibility to export the animation table, make some modifications, and then import it again. You can see here, it is for a CSV. I believe you also have the possibility to configure uh, the extension and then you should be able to edit this CSV in order to import it so you work less this way so what we're gonna do now is to export the animation table from the inputs change the name and use it as system so input right click export animation table going to select a new folder here and two to one guidance. Okay, you have some export options here. Export. Now I'm going to open mm -hmm -hmm, desktop. The other side of the screen. There we go. Table input. So we can going to copy and call this system so if we edit the notepad or txt in this notepad you can see that I have this so we're going to read in one table the q0.0 .0, which is the motor so save this close close and now what we're going to do is to right click import animation table desktop uh, desktop guidance system open import you can see now that we have 
the additional variables and now the new one which is the motor okay and if i start working on this one force one and the motor is just turned on so i'm going to repeat it once again the animation tables allow us to see all the variables that we want in just one table which is good when we have a huge program with different PUs and different um, different run so we can see in one table the variables that we want to see if the code is working or if you want to make the configuration of the machine let's go back to the presentation This is what we have done. Now it's time to make the, the trace. For the trace, it's very simple. Let's go to the application. So what we need to do is to activate the trace. And the trace is activated when you check the trace in here. See, I'm connected. Once you define the trace, you need to define the time base. In this case, I'm going to use one second. So now I'm connected with this virtual PLC. I'm going to launch the trace. This is just the interface of the trace. Once you launch the trace, you need to make it a start. So if we start trace, it start the trace. You can see here the reference. I'm going to force to zero. You can see. Okay. I'm going to force again to. Mm -hmm, no, let's make it stop. So this one go to zero. There we go. So the advantage of using the trace is just to validate that your logic is working at least on the PLC. Okay is doing what you need to do. So that is the huge advantage of using the trace on this one just for debugging. Let's go to the presentation and see if I miss something here. You can also save the trace in case you want it. So let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now is the time. Okay. This is what we have done. And I believe this is it. So if you have any questions, something, just let us know. Here's the email for the service team, for support team. So thank you very much for watching this video, and i see you in the next one.